Hey, it's Spencer with OwnerBuilderHome.com. Just showing you a quick tip for some ICF um, passing a dryer vent. So this is the standard dryer vent pass-through for passing through a wall. Uh, you can get it at Home Depot, about 13 bucks. A little crap. But anyway, what I want to do is just try to be smart about this thing. So I got some steel, galvanized steel, normal ducting. And um, anyway, this plug right here, I'm gonna get it taped up, but that'll go inside the ICF core to pour around it. And then you'll have a metal liner with about an inch air barrier, and you could probably even snake the, or sneak the uh, dryer uh, metal line over that pretty good. So it seems like a pretty robust setup. But anyway, the build block is 11 inches thick, so I cut this. A length. I actually snapped it together first. You can keep it unsnapped and cut it with tin snips is how it's usually done. I used, uh, let's see over here, a good old Harbor Freight port band which is actually a very good tool. But uh, wedged it between two pieces of wood right over here with my line drawn on it and just cut it in little sections at a time. So that worked good. Um, I have another video on the knockdown system. Most of it Almost all the panels were good, but this one and another one had uh, this area either too high or too low, so it wasn't quite right. So, you probably don't want to put all the concrete pressure on just a flimsy metal pipe. Most of the pastures are usually PVC and are self-rigid. Uh, you just tape them up on both ends. Uh, I recommend the red tape for doing your uh, Plastic under your slab works really good for the stuff lasts a long time holds out in the sun But anyway making these little circles here so I can put them in there. I'll hold the shape and we'll take the pressure So that's the main one and then I had enough material to do too. So Things don't always go to plans if people get dropped or crushed or whatever. So Making a second one it's showing how that goes So I just drew the circle on there and then I just kind of hand drew it eighth inch in Doesn't have to be too precise just fit in there decently well uh, so you make a good rigid body. So that's how all that works. So hopefully that makes sense to everyone. And then my own personal preference is I want the dryer vent to get out of the house in the straightest shot, shortest length possible. I've lived in homes before where it's snaked up through the roof. It just traps a lot of lint. Uh, the other thing here, we're down in Florida, we get uh, up to 100 inches of rain per year, depending on how crazy it gets, like El Nino, La Nina, whatever. So uh, anything you can pass through the soffit or the wall that you're allowed to do with code down in an environment like Florida, uh, Brazil, and whatever, Southeast Asia, anywhere with crazy amounts of rainfall, uh, you're better off sending something through a wall or a soffit. Uh, the less penetrations you have through the roof, the better. That's typically where the leaks happen. So anyway, that's just my engineering philosophy on the whole thing. Just trying to get some fireproofing and some smarts into this thing so that shows how everything works. So hopefully that will help you on your project.